Hello Pirates! In today's video I'll be showing you how to level up the Padevakang ship to level 9 in the open beta and in just a few days achieve a best in slot asymmetrical build that will guarantee victory in every naval battle. The Padevakang is the largest ship in the beta and you can acquire the blueprint for its construction in the city of Telok, Tanjara, in the northeast corner of the map. First, I will take you through a quick naval battle, demonstrating how to swiftly annihilate enemy ships using a variety of weapons. In this scene, I've just returned from a lengthy plundering expedition and my ship is filled to the brim with various goods. It is crucial to note that the ship's hull can only carry 50 different items, so I have to periodically discard cargo to make room for more valuable products. Stay tuned for more tips and strategies on mastering the Padavakang and dominating the high seas. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things pirate related. Let's set sail for victory. In this battle I am sailing in a thunderstorm and fight various encounters. We come across these ships fighting each other and this is a great opportunity to get involved. I engaged with the mortar with indirect fire from a greater distance. The mortar has a huge splash AOE damage and I will show you the stats later in this video. gives me health back once I'm attacking with the crew. Check my health bar at the lower left corner after throwing the Molotov cocktails. finished off the pirate ship and the next ship is not aware of me engaging it. It is crucial to attack the ships one by one to safely dominate the battle. This time I am starting the fight with the frontal Skurlock long guns and aim directly at the weak point at the rear of the ship. Asymmetrical setup of the guns, which you will see later in this video, gives me the option to engage in different ways. For close up fights, I have installed the flooding Demi Cannon 2 on the left side. After circling the enemy and damaging the ship, I am gaining some ground and shoot the follower with the torpedo 2. Since the ship has its sails raised and is low on speed, I can shoot the mortar again at short distance. I have received some damage and go for the crew attack again to get some health back instantly without using a repair kit.
The next ship is just on the horizon and we are going for it. Again starting the fight with a mortar barrage damaging the ship. This time we attack with the right side and use the fire bombard too to inflict some explosion and burning damage. Now disengage and fire torpedoes at our follower. Since the torpedoes are relatively slow, we have to lead the shot, so the ship drives into the torpedoes. It is important to lower the sails for quick turns in battle. You can see my ship is full with cargo and I have to jettison some lower grade items. Another clueless pirate ship on the horizon. We engage again with mortar to inflict some serious damage.
always use the brace to reduce the incoming damage. This is the last encounter on our way to Saint Anne. We engage the fight with indirect fire again. I wanted to start the video with showing you how to sail with this build. So you can see if it suits your expectations and if you like the style of close and long range battle. Next I will show you the setup itself.
have streamed the game on Twitch for over 30 hours and you can watch my VODs if you like. You can find the link to my channel in the video description below. Once the game is released, I will keep on playing and if you like, come by and say hello. I will be happy to answer any questions and look forward to see you. Thank you very much for watching my video. I would be very happy if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. This would help me a lot. Have a great day and calm seas.